Hello, Capricorn. I'm going to do a reading for you today. Um, we're going to tap into how your person feels about you. What are their feelings about you right now as you're watching this video? Okay. Whatever you're drawn to it is when you're supposed to see it. All right. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you would like to be entered to win a free personal reading, I give away one every week. You're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Hashtag Capricorn. But yeah. Hashtag Capricorn. Perfect. Um, also, if you'd like to book a personal reading, I am doing $10 off. We're having tons of fun with those guys. I'm telling you between the, uh, personal readings and the lives that I'm doing, I'm enjoying all of you so much. It's a lot of fun. Um, so they're $10 off. All you need to do is shoot me an email and that information is in the description box down below. Okay. So this is a general read. It cannot and will not resonate for everybody. So take what resonates for you. Leave the rest. Okay. Check those other placements, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Cross watchers, welcome. There is no gender in tarot. All right, Capricorn, let's get it. Let's do it. We've got, ooh, everlasting on the bottom of the deck. Okay, what is up? We've got savings and divine offering. Okay, I'm telling you right now, I feel like first of all, somebody is saving up to uh, ask you to get married, potentially. We've got mindful and masculine. We have replenish and winter. And on the other side, we've got feminine. So we've got a pair here and spring. We've got trauma and expression. It's interesting that we have a little bear on both sides. Just saying. Got a koala over here and a teddy bear over here. And we have spirit animal and skills. All right. So somebody is saving up um, to, to surprise you with something. It certainly could be an engagement ring. It could be a house. It could be a car. It could be anything. But um, they're doing it because they have love for you. We do have a masculine and a feminine here. Okay. Male, female, doesn't matter. All right. What is this savings? What is savings over here? I do. I feel like they've saved up to give you something really amazing. Two of cups they have. They could have even been saving for two years. What is this two of cups and the savings? We have the ace of wands. Yeah, they're say they're, it's something because they feel a lot of passion for you. There's a spark. Um, they want to give you something really amazing. Wow. Divine offering. What is this divine offering all about? What's it about, folks? What's it about? The King of Cups. This person has a lot of love and they want to give it all to you. They're coming through. It could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio does not have to be. This person is just very emotionally intelligent, emotionally mature, able to communicate about his, his feelings. <clears throat> um. And loves you very much. We have strength. Yeah, this is a very, very, very strong connection. I mean, we already have a masculine and a feminine here. We already have an emperor and an empress here. So, all right. So we have mindful. What is this mindful? We have the eight of coins. I'm telling you what, this person really was like on a strict budget um, to save up to, to bring you this offer, whatever this is, okay? Okay. And they spent a lot of money on it. They worked really hard. Yeah, the page of coins. And here's this offering. Masculine. So what does this emperor got going on? The tower. This is going to change your life. I like it. It's a good tower moment. A good tower moment. And we have the hermit. They've wanted this for a long time. Virgo energy. They have worked towards this goal for a long time. And it's finally here. I do feel like this person. Um, I feel like this person has saved for a long, long time. And has worked towards this goal now for a long, long time. We have replenish. Yeah, the 10 of coins. They're spending a lot of money. I feel like this person now is making more money also throughout the course of this, but they've got the money to spend. 
it's like it's not costing them everything. The Page of Swords. They have been really um, watching their money, watching their budget. But at the same time, um, this person is also making a lot of money right now. It's like they've, and I think they're also watching you. Like they're seeing what things you like, what you don't like. They're just doing some investigating as far as, as you know, whatever this gift is to make sure that you really, truly love it. So here we have winter. What is winter? The queen of swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So the winter could be significant here, um, especially January, I'm saying. You certainly could be um, moving in together in January, getting married in January, whatever whatever this is. But they're they're asking or presenting this to you in the spring right now. We've got the spring over on the other side. The five of cups. I think they're worried you're going to say no. They're coming at you very directly. Um, they could be worried you're going to, you know, you're going to reject them. All right. So here we have feminine. This is that empress energy, right? The devil, looky, there you are. I think you're the feminine in this one. I think you're the feminine in this one. In the Ten of Cups, look at that. This person means everything to you. Um, so spring, I think this person is gonna is gonna whatever they're gonna present to you, whatever they're gonna ask you, offer you, give to you, it, it's gonna happen this spring. The Seven of Wands. I feel like um, you are going to be taken aback. Um, but with this Seven of Wands, they're coming on very strong. And they're not taking no. The Hierophant, yeah. They, um, they, they may be popping the question. I'm just telling you. So here we have trauma. What is this trauma? The wheel of fortune. Um, I do, I feel like maybe you're leveling up and um completing, you know, successfully completing cycles of 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 trauma, of abuse, of toxicity, of things that have really been difficult in your life. Um, but you have a really beautiful opportunity here to heal and to move forward. And I think you're taking it. The three of cups, finding happiness. So here we have letter expression. What is this letter expression? The seven of cups. Um, they may very well even be um, putting pen to paper and just telling you how important you are to them. Everything that you mean to them, everything that they want for you, everything that, that they, I mean, just everything that they feel, just putting it all out there so that there's no question, you know, there's no confusion. You know exactly what they want, right? the queen of coins. They want that stability with you. They want to invest with you. Here we have spirit animal. They may be even getting you a, a puppy for Christmas. Wouldn't that be cool? Page of cups. Certainly could be um, a small offering like that. I don't know why that's significant, but six of swords. They want to move forward with you. They want to have all these conversations and um, grow with you. And for whatever reason, they may be getting you like a cute puppy or kitten. I don't know why I'm seeing that. All right, here we have skills, 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 skills. The three of swords. You have grown a lot and learned a lot, and you now have coping mechanisms to deal with any pain, heartbreak, or the past. Um, you may also be worried, you know, that this person is going to hurt you. I don't see that. But if you've got some trauma, you've got things that make you a little bit skittish, um, this person is going to ease all of that for you. Um, you are really um, growing and healing. And this person is only going to help you in that capacity. Yeah, the Empress. So whatever you have going on, you may be, you certainly could be, um, you know, getting you know, counseling or therapy or talking to somebody or whatever so that you can, you know, kind of evolve and grow. We have this um, everlasting. This person is never going to leave you. And now we have ring. This person is 
100% in love with you and wants to be with you forever. And, um, I do think they're going to help you, you know, you're going to be able to heal together. It's like you guys complete one another. Wow. All right. Let me know how this works. Cause you know, I'm nosy. All right. If you would like to um, be entered for that personal reading, just like share, subscribe and a comment. If you'd like to book a personal reading, shoot me an email. It's in the description box below. And in the meantime, I'm wishing you lots of luck, love and light, and I will see you next time.